students in this class we will be attempting to solve this question using javascript now clearly this is a question rule question and more so it is a gcse exam question the question reads as follows in a triangle abc ab is 4.5 ac is 8.3 bc is 6.1 now we are actually not very much concerned when it comes to writing a code in js about the sites all we need is the data so using the data we can easily evaluate what is required now we are expected to find the angle bac now bac is actually this angle we are uh, looking for this angle let me just uh, show you that so this is the angle that is required bac so what we are going to do is we are going to ask the user to enter the sides and the angle that he is looking for and in that case he will have to mention which angle is looking for if he is looking for the angle between 4.5 and 8.3 or between 4.5 and 6.1 or between 4. Point, uh, or i would say or between 6.1 or uh, and 8.3 right so in this case the user is looking for the angle between uh, 4.5 and 8.3 so that would mean our side would have a cosine rule as follows so this is going to be the cosine rule on the left hand side is going to be 6.1 raised to the power of 2 equal to right the right hand side will contain the 4.5 squared plus 8.3 squared negative 2 times 4.5 times 8.3 times cosine of this unknown angle so that is the basic information that we would need and what we are going to do is we are going to display all of this information step by step so for that now we need to go to the vs code so let me head on to the vs code and i have created a js file cosine app1.js and i have linked it to the index now what we will do here is we will start off by getting the sides from the user so this is going to be let side 1 be equal to and i'm going to use parsent you can use parsent or pass float probably we will use pass float and we are going to prompt please enter the side 1 okay so that is actually received we can copy this and paste this this is going to be site 2 and over here site 2 now we also been given site 3 please enter site 3 now based on what is required we can actually prompt the user to enter the angle so what i will do is i will ask for the angle between the sides of course we can also use conditional check right so i'm going to declare a variable let required angle is equal to i will prompt this prompt enter the angle between if this is abc if we are looking for the angle between the side 1 and side 2 right please enter a if you are looking to get the angle between side 1 and side 2 okay so in that case i would be able to accordingly read 
phrase or reform the formula. So if the required angle is equal to A, right? So if they enter capital A, then we will utilize the following information. So site calculator. That's declared there and over here site calculator is equal to now uh, we wanted the square of side one with I need to place a product sign with side one by side two multiplied with side two so this will have to have a subtraction of the side 3 right side 3 multiplied with side 3 okay so this will be the basic numerator and this entire thing has to be divided right probably I'll place in a parenthesis here and a parenthesis here this has to be divided by 2 multiplied with the side 1 multiplied with the side 2. So you can place in a parenthesis over here 2 times this entire component is in one parenthesis. So this value is extracted and we need to apply the cosine for this so required angle so let me also use one more variable required angle calculator is equal to now whatever value that we have got over here now this has to be passed in as an argument for the cos inverse so I call the method a cos of the side calculator and then I can just simply display document of right required angle is equal to the required angle calculator so that is got just place some with br and uh, HD tag okay and save it so what I'm going to do is I will give an alert here please enter A for, for getting angle between side 1 and side 2 and copy this and I will give three alerts so enter so the prompt will receive probably I will say please enter the required angle between the sides so if they enter A then I will use the following formula which I've already shown to you now there is one important uh, element of knowledge point that you will have to know now of course I'm utilizing the math function here math dot a cos whatever value that I've got here I'm utilizing the cos inverse this is going to give me the cos inverse of the calculated value but there will be a problem let me just show you the problem I'm going to enter the side so the first side is 4.5 second is 8.3 .8 and the last one is 6.1 so please enter A for getting side 1 and side 2 for getting angle between side 1 and side 2 so the alert is brief that's why I don't want to enter multiple messages if you are comfortable you can enter multiple messages so this message is easily got and then please enter B for angle between side 2 and side 3 yes and please enter C between if you want the angle between side 3 and side 1 
So I want the angle, please enter the required angle or I would say enter the required angle between the sides. So I want angle A. So I'm entering A there. Now when you click OK, you are getting this. Now this is actually the angle and radian measure. So don't mistake the output to be incorrect. So that being said, what we need to do is we need to go back and change the output to degrees. So for that, I'm going to declare a variable here, radians to degree. So that's a variable declared. Over here, I will say radians to degree is equal to, now you have to multiply the output, whatever output you're getting. Required angle calculator. This is the value that we have got. You got to multiply this by 180 divided by pi. So this is going to be like this 180 divided by math dot pi. So this is the way you need to write the formula. And next you can actually copy this and paste it. Required angle in degrees is equal to radians to degree right so that will help us to rectify the issue that we have got so let me go up over here and enter the first side 4.5 second side 8.3 the third side is 6.1 i know this this is the alert that has been got and now you enter the side i want the angle between side one and side two so that's a so clearly you can see that required angle this is what the required angle in radians and required angle in degrees so that is a lovely output now what we can do is we can actually get all the steps displayed so let me get the steps displayed enter the information over here document.write so what are we calculating in the numerator this is this is what is being calculated in the numerator right so we can actually enter that so if it is between a and b the formula we can write this in this fashion so that is going to be the numerator and the value we can just put in the value so side side 1 into side 1 and then side 2 into side 2 minus side 3 into side 3 so that is going to be the numerator value we can place a colon there and that would be a step and followed by the denominator the denominator is going to be 2 times side 1 into side 2 so you can copy that also two times into side one into side two. So I'm going to type that out. Okay, so the numerator has got, denominator has got, and over here numerator divided by the denominator. The value that we have got so that is going to be this value right so we don't need this okay next what we need to do is after getting this value we need to get the required angle over here required angle and radius cos inverse right so sup minus 1 slash sup so cos inverse of the value that we have got so this information which we have got will be displayed here and that's exactly what we want so these are some additional steps that I have placed in for providing better understanding you can just display the following things over here 
you can say document dot write that's it okay please enter side one that's 4.5 side two 8.3 6.1 and okay enter A for getting angle between side 1 and side 2 I know this so I'm going to enter A there A is entered and you see that side 1 this is given side 2 side 3 this is the value A squared plus B squared minus 2 times C squared this is the numerator and this is the denominator c squared is the denominator so numerator divided by denominator is this angle in radians cos inverse of this, this is lovely it's, uh, it's neatly, neatly presented and this is the value and this is the angle in degrees now what we can say one thing we can do is we can place an equal to sign over here and look for the denominator so c squared is this probably we can put a equal to and numerator we can place a colon there instead of saying equal to we can place a colon there and we can give a equal to there with some spacing so that's fine and this would be obtained as follows first side 4.5 and then 8.3 and 6.1 I know this information and I'm entering side A and I get the value this is the value that we have got you see that C squared is equal to this this is the denominator this is the numerator and then numerator divided by denominator is this and this is the output so this is a lovely question so this completes and I think this is the best place for us to stop. Thank you students. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.